What's going on guys? Welcome back to Grave Uncut and today I have another review video for you. This week, Godzilla King of the Monsters. Now you may have noticed in this video I don't have Reyes or Fruita with me. If you recall from the last review, had a little issue with Reyes where he decided to stab me. Which would basically be seen here. Also, spoiler alert, John Wick is also an assassin from Assassin's Creed, so am I. <laughs> so yeah, after he stabbed me, he kind of just left. No idea why. No idea why he stabbed me. I'm going to find out next time I see him. But anyway, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Holy shit. This movie had a lot of fucking action. But also a lot of questionable things, especially in the story. Now, I'm going to try to do this the best I can without giving away the story. Being that it's just me, you'll just have my grading on the movie. So, so here we go. The plot. The plot of the movie was basically... Bringing back certain... Well, basically studying the, mon the monster Mothra, where it started. Then there was a bit of betrayal, where Emma, who worked with this organization called Monarch, who was originally studying Mothra and studying this device called the Orca, which basically calmed the Titan down through different frequencies, just like an Orca whale, I guess in a sense. Anyway, they see that the Orca device calms the calms the titans now i may reference them as monsters but they're in the movie they call titans and then emma and her daughter madison get involved with this eco terrorist group which you think they get kidnapped but this is where the betrayal comes in needless to say they wake up all the other monsters and all hell breaks loose. My issue with the story is primarily where you find out that Emma, who worked with Monarch, decides to betray Monarch, and you find out she works with the eco-terrorists, but why did she do that in the first place? I mean, I understand they need somewhere to bench off from, but you're never really given an idea as to why she did it. Needless to say, further down, they travel all throughout the world to basically wake up the other titans. Then they end up running into this alien titan called uh, Ghidorah. And this is some little three-headed fucking insane fucker. The best way I can describe it, because he wrecked fucking house. Holy crap. I mean, the action... I mean, I will tell you right now, as far as the plot, there are several questions. I'm trying not to give away everything. I'm trying to keep everything to a minimum. Needless to say, there is a handful of freaking beasts that are woken up. They just fuck everything up. Like, Everything. So, the plot, I would say, is very questionable as far as why certain actions were done. I'm not going to give everything away, as I mentioned. The beasts were well done as far as Godzilla, Ghidorah, Mothra, and the rest. Whew, ah. And it goes from dealing with Monarch, who's basically trying to wake the beasts up and soothe them as far as using the Orca device. Then you have the freaking eco-terrorists that are basically trying to wake the beasts up. And abuse fucking power left and fucking right. Then you got it go it go it's it, it the movie was all fucking over the place, but it was all over the place in a good way. Where you have the, the monarch eco terrorists, and then all of a sudden it goes from dealing with eco terrorists to full out nuclear fucking holocaust. Like holy shit! And it gets to a point where Godzilla is fighting. It, it, I'm skipping all over the place. Don't mind me. But you have the moment where it's Godzilla versus Ghidorah. Holy crap. And then there's like a whole big nuclear thing that... 
it was all out action, all out warfare, all out monster warfare. I'm I'm honestly at a loss for words as far as the movie. Now for the grading. I'm, I know this is going to probably be a relatively quick video, but then again, it's like I don't have Reyes or Fuda to stem off of because Reyes fucking stabbed me. I'm giving Godzilla King of the Monsters a 7 out of 10. My reasoning behind the 7 out of 10, I mean, again, it's... When you when you have a movie, you gotta go based off the plot, the characters. The characters were well done, although their actions to the plot were still a little all over the place. It's like, I, I, my main question is, why did she... Why did Emma betray... You, you know, why did, they, why did she betray Monarch? Like, that, I think, could have been expanded on a little bit more in a movie. Especially for a movie that's about, I would say, two hours. But that is my opinion on Godzilla King of the Monsters. The action was all there. The fight scenes between the Titans were, were top-notch. Seeing a... Spo minor spoiler alert here. There is a... Ra there, you will see a radioactive fucking Godzilla just wreck house. Like, that, if that doesn't sell this movie to at least check it out, I don't know what is. Seriously, Radioactive Godzilla, check it out. Anyway, final rating, 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 because, again, the action was there. The story was a little questionable. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. And if anybody sees Reyes... Tell them I'm looking for them. Got some unfinished business here. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. Definitely check out my other videos. And keep an eye out next week for another video. And a little shout out for Reyes from Reyes World TV because he helped me start up with these reviews. And I'll see you guys in the next video.